Welcome everyone. I want to go through how to install the CAS Enterprise Single Sign-On Server using the Gradle overlay. So first, I am here at apero.github.io and I plan to install version 5.1. Now, the easiest way to start this up is to use what's known as a overlay or a war overlay. Now I'm going to go through using the Gradle overlay. Now I've already downloaded it, so I've decided to download the zip file of this. And I actually have that already here. Now I've already exploded it, so you don't have to see uh, you know what I did, but basically all I did is download it. I unpacked it, and then I want to go through some of the weird errors you'll get initially when you start this up. Now, of course, as I've exploded it, all I want to do is I want to go through a couple of operations. Now, if you come down back over here to the template overview, you're actually going to see some directions and, and really right off the bat, they start talking about, they start talking about just, let's just start to building the server okay, that's fine. And then they really start talking about uh, other things like setting up tasks and actually deciding to deploy and run this. Now, one thing that's a little bit uh, easy to miss is this section right here, which is, first of all, creating some kind of key store. And I'm going to talk about that in a second. And where you actually have to put it, either at your on Linux or Unix, Etsy slash CAS, or on Windows, C Etsy CAS. And there needs to be specifically uh, this key store with the password, change it. At least this is from the default right now. Now, let's look at some of the errors that'll happen right off the bat, okay? So if I look at where I'm at, I'm actually inside of my exploded directory. And if I look at the contents, I basically have a Gradle build file that I'm going to execute. So let's try the first one. Let's do Gradle and let's just do build, just like they've stated. Now, unfortunately, right at the very beginning, we start getting a problem. Now, the problem here is not necessarily easy to understand at first because, well, I'm looking for a directory called private. I, I don't know where this has ever come about. I don't see the word private. And the problem is I've looked through the various pieces of code that we've exploded and I am looking for the word private. Now, I actually have this in another project right now. So let's look at what we actually get. So we actually have the build.gradle, which doesn't do much. And we even have some files that are to be copied over. Specifically, as we see here, we have a Etsy CAS config directory. So let's look through them. Well, okay, I just have information, nothing there. I look at properties. Well, okay, I do have one thing here, but it still doesn't make sense. I am actually looking for a logging configuration file under slash Etsy slash CAS slash config slash log4j 2xml Wait a second, but where's the word private come from? I don't see private. So if I look at the log4j2 file, I also see the base directory being Etsy. Still nothing saying private. Well, I'm on a Macintosh right now, and what I have found is that the problem is not, does not have anything to do with the word private. It actually just has to do with the word Etsy CAS because the JVM does not have permission to create a directory called CAS nor config. Now, here's how we're going to solve it. I'm actually gonna go to my finder. Now remember, if I look here, I'm actually, um, 
I'm actually in my Etsy directory. And we'll zoom in on this real quick, right? Now I have my Etsy directory and I did create a CAS, but I'm trying to start again to show you what the problem is. And what I want to do is I going to first just create a directory. So let's create this new directory. So if we decide to create a, oh, that's not what I want. I'm going to create a new directory file, new folder, right? Now it's asking me for my permission and I have to put in my password because this is a protected directory. This is where the problem came. So I'm gonna create a, uh, my password, is going to be entered in there and it says, okay, now I can create a directory because I've entered my administrative password and I'm going to create a directory called CAS. Okay, now scrolling up here, now we have a directory called CAS. Now, before we try anything else, let's just now try to run this again. Now we've created this one directory in there. Now I go through the build Notice it actually succeeded. By me creating that directory, I now have permission to write in that directory. And if I look back at CAS config and notice that at this point, I actually have those three property files in question that have been added to this directory in my root Etsy folder. Okay, there's a couple other things that I have changed in the configuration file. Now, if you notice, there is a cas.properties. Now, by default, this was actually set to false, so there was no SSL enabled. Now, I just want to start it off by using SSL automatically, so I'm going to set this to true. And I'm also going to uncomment out the following different properties. Server.SSL key store, which is the name of the key store that I want to have used. And the store password as well as the key password. Now, if we looked at the overview uh, or the overlay documentation, it actually created and talked about using a different name for the key store. However, if you've gone through this, I'm not gonna go through this in this example, but if you look at how to configure SSL and TLS with uh, Apache 8 in this document, which I'm gonna put the link here to, this talks about creating a, um, basically your credentials in a specific way, and I've actually used that, and I've created one previous, not to use with this necessarily, but I called it a tomcat.keystore, instead of the key store, which is what they were asking for. So I just wanted to have a different name for this, and this gives me the name, however, I need to do one other thing to make sure this key store is available. Now, I actually go into my servers here. Now, I actually already have my key store that I have set aside. Now, if we look here, I've got two of them. Now, mine was originally tomcat.keystore. Now, the overlay documentation talks about calling it the key store. Now, if you do not change these settings, then it's going to look for a, a basically a key store called the key store. Well, I don't really want that name because I'm used to seeing my own Tomcat key store. So what I do need to do though, is I need to put it into my CAS directory. Now I'm going to copy this. Now, when I go back over to my directory where we see here, we're actually, here I'll zoom in on this. We're actually looking at Etsy slash CAS slash, as you see, I've copied both of them, the key store and Tomcat key store. I just copied it into this directory. Now, technically, I'm not going to need 
the key store because I've decided to change the name of it in my in my um, settings. So I have my key store in my secure directory. Now the build will not be copying this over. Now going back over to my property files, this is actually saying I'm enabling SSL. I'm using my key store and change it and change it are both the passwords that I've used just as an example. This is not what I would normally want to use, but this is uh, for just demonstration purposes only. Now there's one other setting that I'm changing and you know, I'll tell you why I'm doing this. So I want to change the server port instead of to 8443, I want to change it to 9443. Now I'm trying to use my CAS server along with another Spring Boot application and the default port for this other Spring Boot application is well, 8443. So I don't want to have a conflict with these two ports when I'm trying to run this CAS server on the same server as my other Spring Boot app. So I'm just going to change the port so that it does not have a conflict. Now that's the only reason that I've changed the port. But I do need to change it. Otherwise, what we've seen up here at the top, these two properties the CAS server name, HTTPS, and then this actual name, 9443, does not actually change the administrative location for this. So this is kind of a problem and kind of a misnomer that you would think you would change this, but it does not have an effect on where we're going to try to access our administrative port, which I will show you in a second. So now what I need to do, now I'm keeping this property here because I've modified it, but what I want to do is I want to run two different commands. First, I'm going to run Gradle build, right? Now I'm actually going to build this and this is going to copy the configuration properties over to my Etsy CAS config directory. So first I run this run a build that is successful. Now, next, what I want to do is I want to now actually start up the server. So by running Gradle, and I'm going to say boot run. Now the server is actually going to be started with the configuration properties from the Etsy slash CAS slash config directory, along with the Etsy slash CAS key store, which I copied over. So by running this, let's run this. Now it's just take a little bit of time. We're going to start up the server. Now this is going to be the CAS server. It's going to be running on port 9443 slash CAS, which we're going to see in a minute. And okay, now that that passed, there was a little bit of time, so we've jumped forward. Now, you'll notice here in the logs, it says, gives you some warnings just about the configuration. Nothing happened wrong. And as we scroll down, we're actually going to see now that the server is ready. Okay, so now it's up and running. Now, the next thing we're going to do is let's actually go and make sure to log in. So HTTPS colon slash slash 7.0.0.1 colon 84, well, not 8443, but 9443 slash CAS, as we see here. And we're going to see now that we're going to pull up the default admin now, I do want to note that, you know, if you notice right here, it says that it's not secure. This is because we created a self-signing key store for SSL. And it just means that the certificate is not um, trusted by a certificate authority. That's all this means. But I still want to have SSL at this point. Now... The trick here is, well, okay, I want to log in. What do I log in as? And there is a specific username and password, which is default, is the CAS 
user is the default user and melon is the default password. So now that we do a login, we're now going to see that we have successfully logged in to the administrative server.